This is the FENS, SFN school on uh, uh, shared mechanisms and specificity in neurodegenerative diseases. The aim of the school was to uh, give a background and to um, make students understand what really um, is going on in the neurodegenerative disease field. And mainly this is direct to um, first, second year PhD student that knowing uh, the study, the research and the, the, um, the topic from different aspects could stimulate some interest and uh, for the research in the future. Also our aim was to give them a comprehensive uh, uh, overview of the field by uh, touching a different aspect of neurodegeneration and also to introduce them to concepts that are not yet very um, uh, much used or studied uh, in neurodegenerative disorders like for example the epigenetics or um, uh, well an introduction at every level so from the cell to the nucleus um, to the uh, the whole organism and so with the synaptic, with a, a session on synaptic plasticity in uh, uh, degenerative disorders. So that was our idea, to give as much as we could uh, a, a global presentation on, uh, uh, on these disorders. I think that when we select the student, they were, from my part at least, there were two or three points. That uh, one was people that, based on their CV, we could consider somebody that could discuss, could contribute to them. One was uh, that they had to be international. So people with uh, coming from different continents, I think it was very important not to be mm, just European or many European. So we, we try really to include people coming from all over the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, also because they can share expertise. They can uh, share. And then the other thing is that to give the possibility to people that um, did not have means somehow and to, to take part in something like this. So we, we did our best to distribute and to choose this student uh, student that anyhow because they applied for this school so they all had already a little background some more some other less and uh, and we try to pick them up with different type of interest and approaches so the selection of the speaker I think was uh, at least my view was to start with a general background uh, that was the first speaker also was a lecture plenary lecture and a general background on neurodegeneration uh, started from the genetics. Mm -hmm. And then um, having this overview, uh, starting then with the clinical feature, the clinical aspect, the neuropathology, the models that you can create starting from men with iPS cells and then um, from skin biopsy and so on, and then move down to mechanism models and then the end was a lecture on a therapy. So a successful therapy that has started is a mechanism-based therapy and therefore started from the study of the mechanism that is at the base of a disease. Uh, one can uh, then, if insist and if it's determined, perhaps reach the point to have a drug for the treatment of that disease. We also gave a particular attention to choose speakers that we thought would be good teachers so that they will uh, then they, they normally deliver good presentation and meetings where we have been so and that they would dedicate uh, some time to the students that are you know like people that with an easy interaction so that they students could discuss with the speakers and get as much as they can of feedback and uh, or like uh, asking questions after uh, the lectures we we tried to make a program where uh, we would have given as much as we could to discussion 
uh, and in particular each speaker was, uh, was told to deliver a lecture uh, more or less one hour and a half and then afterwards there was plenty of time, at least I think two hours right, mm -hmm. per day, um, two hours or more per day for the students to ask questions uh, whether this was just right after the presentation or after a little time so that they had time to digest what the speaker was saying and then ask questions. And then what we were, uh, we were really hoping to do was to have like uh, students getting together and discussing together and then presenting some question to the speakers. You know, when you talk about neurodegenerative diseases, you involve many different aspects of neuroscience, of molecular biology, of uh, cell biology, and uh, the student did not have all experience in neurodegenerative diseases, but they had experience in certain aspects. So this would have given them the possibility to take their experience in the field, because there will be a way to discuss also the aspect that they know better. And I also think that it's important sometimes, you know, like we all get very specialized, but it is important sometimes to see what is done in other fields that are linked to the same type of problem that you have and that you sometimes disregard, not because, but just for lack of time or attention. So this kind of school I hope that kind of gave them an idea of other questions they, they can address in their system and uh, make them more um, curious about other approaches and how they could answer the question that they have in, uh, in, in, in their projects. They see a problem from completely different aspects. They know uh, they are informed about what's going on in the field really at the forefront of research internationally, although they come from labs that are not perhaps... Yeah. I think that that is very important, is to show to them what's going on. They are um, far from everything and so they can concentrate in uh, on the school and uh, they have the speakers that are available for them afterwards the so time, yeah. you know and I have to say that every speaker that participated in this uh, school the, they were all very friendly and uh, spending time with them so for those that wanted to get the maximum out of the school I'm sure that they could do it that they did it the thing that I hope my, from my side mm -hmm. Uh, is that I hope the speakers have transmitted some passion for what we are doing. And so if they take home the a little bit of the interest that, that uh, we have tried to communicate and uh, they understand that uh, they can do research is very nice, although there are many obstacles and uh, also uh, starting from the PhD, starting from the place where they are, the topic, there are many different things. But what uh, mainly also with the last lecture, it was uh, that if you insist, if you really like to do that, there is a possibility to get somewhere, but one has to be determined. Yeah. I agree with the Maria Grazia, so be persistent and think out of the box, that's the message. You know, like be open also to see different approaches and think not only in what you're doing every day uh, thinking that it's the only thing that you can do but also have other uh, idea of what you can apply to your research and always you know ask yourself what is the most important thing and how you can you can uh, make your project to uh, to go in the right direction <laughs>